So in the last video we showed how we can best guess for our lateral height. So what happens if we come in and we don't have a perfectly lined up lateral? Is there a way that we can best guess to get that perfect lateral? Well, if we're not able to view the preoperative images and see if there's any scoliosis or anything going on with the patient, that could be a contributing factor. Hopefully we get a chance to see those, but it's not always possible depending on your facility's volume. So I'll demonstrate a, a non-perfect lateral first. So I'll come in, I'm, I've purposefully moved my mannequin so that it will not demonstrate superimposed end plates. But I'm going to come in perpendicular to the table. Uh, let me just go ahead and come up a little bit center here. So hopefully we should see open end plates. There we can see there. So now if I apply WAG, I don't really have a good sense because of the, the proximity of those end plates and my C-arm, I don't really know if I should WAG to the head or if I should WAG towards the feet. So WAG into the head here. When you WAG, you have to then bring the machine back down to maintain your center. So when I shoot here, that would look worse. So if you're able to think in the moment, you can assess that as being worse. But remember, you have a physician who's getting more and more irate because every time they just hear that button, they just, they just hear radiation. So here, now we've got our WAG correct. So that's three exposures to get to where we need. So how can we, again, best guess and get that lateral right first time? And this is one where you may have to have the confidence of your surgeon and your skills. So a lot of times after you work with a physician for a little while, they become more trusting. So when I come into the field, I'm going to extend a little bit so I have some play. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm seeing where my machine is at relative to midline. So when I take my PA, I see here that it's pretty close, but my anatomy is not really running straight from 12 to 6. It's a little bit sloped, leaning left. So if I'm able to take a PA, what I can assess from this is that my anatomy is leaning to the left. So that gives me a heads up that when I come through for my lateral, which I will go ahead and do, so you wouldn't repeat that PA. That would be acceptable for an initial image. You would save and swap that or just swap it to the reference screen. Now to compensate for that leaning left, I am now going to wag my machine left. Again, I'm going to have to slide my machine a little bit north to compensate. So now when I take that image, hopefully I should get superimposed end plates. Uh, there we go. So two images and two useful images because now for the physician, I have a starting PA and I also have a perfectly lined up starting lateral.